Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Jimbo. Um, coming back, I'm actually driving to, uh, in a previous video I talked about multiple streams of income and that's exactly what I'm doing. Right now I'm driving to uh, go shoot some more video for an online course, uh, online training uh, platform I have called The Detailer Inner Circle. Uh, I'll try to remember to link it up in the show notes uh, below, Detailer Inner Circle, if you're a detailer and interested in that. Uh, we offer uh, pretty much online marketing, free websites, 40% off on chemical purchases, all that, but not really for a plug for the Detailer Inner Circle, but always be selling, right? Anyway, I wanna talk about today how I find products to sell on Amazon. Now, yesterday I talked about there's a few different ways that you can actually sell products on Amazon. And Amazon is making it easier and easier for you to sell products on their platform. Um, because obviously they take a referral fee for every product that you sell. Something to keep in mind. Anyway, so how I find products without using, there's many tools out there that will help you find uh, products to potentially sell with their margins and all that. Um, but really what I like to do is just when I'm driving around in a, my car like this, um, or I'm driving from place to place, or you go to Target, or you go all these random places, not only can you look at the clearance items, or the clearance racks, which is would fall more under the retail arbitrage, uh, but if you kind of want to just get your feet wet, uh, that may be a way to go, find kind of onesie, twosie items uh, here and there. But really, what I like to do is think about the items that I use on a day-to-day -day basis the most. So as a detailer, um, I use a lot of chemical, I use a lot of towels, I use a lot of brushes, um, I use uh, rags, gloves, all these different things that I use in my day-to-day -day business and or day-to-day -day life, not just business. And start there, right? So start doing the, the most, effective, I wouldn't say the most efficient, but the most effective way I've found of finding products takes a significant amount of time. And that's just that's just kind of how it goes. To find the most profitable items, to find the items that are gonna sell the best, just takes time researching. And that's where, uh, that's where a lot of time can be spent, it's just in researching the items to find. But if you, are always thinking about items, or you're always searching for items, it'll it'll just start coming through in your day-to-day -day life. So one thing I like to do, that's actually how I found my most profitable, best-selling item currently, that I've been selling for the past couple months, um, that I actually am just wholesaling uh, right now, is that I was just thinking about the different types of products that I use in my daily life and in my detail business life, um, and I started doing research to see how uh, how they were selling, what the search volume was like um, on Amazon. And I'll try to remember to link up one uh, tool that I use. Uh, it's a keyword research tool uh, called Merchant Words um, that I use. And that's really what, through these videos, I wanna start trickling out kind of the tools that I use uh, to verify and to see if an item's worth it. So for example, uh, like this one item, it's not, but say it was like a dog collar. Um, I would go on a Merchant Words and uh, see what the search volume on Amazon, this is strictly an Amazon search term tool. Uh, I would go on Amazon and see how many searches per month were being done for either a dog collar in general, that's kind of vague, or maybe a real leather dog collar or a Velcro dog collar um, or something like that. And if it was, that would be like the, I look at the research to be done in tiers. Uh, so the first tier would be having the idea, so Velcro dog collar. Uh, second second tier would be to go on the Merchant Words and find out how many searches are being done. Is there a viable, uh, is there a viable amount of searches being done? And I try to look at that in my other businesses with SEO and, and Google AdWords and Facebook ads and stuff like that. If I can get a 1% return, uh, if I can get a 1% uh, yeah, a 1% purchase rate per search volume. So say there's 10,000 searches, if I can get one, if I can get one buy per 10,000 searches, uh, 
if if I do that little equation, because it should be more than 1%, but worst case scenario, say it's 1%, um, if I can be profitable with that, that would be a viable item to sell. Actually, on Amazon, I go a little bit higher than 1%. But still, if you use that general rule of thumb of you can capture 1% of the search volume um, and make it viable, that's a good route to take. So uh, again, just think about the random things. Maybe you work on cars and there's a tool that you use or a lug nut or a, 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 a floor jack, which might be heavy, you might wanna stay away from super heavy stuff, but maybe you're into car emblems and you wanna start wholesaling you know, aftermarket car emblems or headlights or taillights or LED lights or uh, exhaust, or I'm just looking at cars all around me, thinking door handles, uh, windshield wiper blades. I mean, you can start to see how this becomes almost overwhelming with how much opportunity um, is is truly out there. Uh, license plate frames. I don't know. There's there's tons and tons and tons of items out there. Uh, stickers. Um, I'm literally just looking around, thinking of ideas that could all be viable Amazon uh, products um, if you go through the the due diligence aspect of it. So. That's the next few videos I'm gonna talk about is kind of how I do my due diligence. I guess the first tool I gave away today would be Merchant Words and I will link up below. I'm gonna to try to get an affiliate link for that, um, which I would appreciate if you click the affiliate link, but it's not all about affiliate links. I'm more just trying to track uh, my progress, um, but not only track my progress, but help other people to uh, to uh, make some extra side, side money. A little side hustle multiple streams of income I'm telling you multiple streams of income is where it's at and just a little a little uh, a little tidbit um, that I want to throw in here at the end I have a currently have about six different listings on Amazon I, I wanted to grow that to 10 by the end of the year and I didn't my uh, relatively uh, immediate goal is to get it to a hundred. I really want 100 listings on Amazon because just like with diversification and multiple streams in business, if I can create multiple streams within Amazon, I'm less vulnerable uh, with the ones that I have. And that really played true this past week. Uh, some of my listings weren't doing as well. Uh, I have I have one listing that is super consistent every week, every month, super duper consistent. The others, some I'm trying to build up because they're private label products. Uh, some just don't sell as well and I'm wholesaling those. Uh, but I can already see just with the eight listings that I have right now that diversification is key because some weeks uh, some items will sag while others get better. So um, I'm really trying to build up my diverse, my diversification uh, throughout my listing. So that's exactly what happened this past week was uh, a couple of my items sagged, uh, but the other ones picked up and I was like, boom, diversification. I'm, I'm, learning, I'm learning myself uh, as I go on with Amazon how to make it more profitable even within that niche. So. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Again, even as I'm, just look around as you go out. I'm even, I pulled up because I'm gonna get some coffee. Um, but even even within there, maybe customize coffee mugs. Uh, and, and Amazon is, is taking on, uh, going after the Etsy.com market where they're gonna be able to start uh, selling custom printed stuff. Uh, so that's gonna open up a whole nother niche. Uh, in and of that. I forget the name of it right now, but I did look at it. It's like handmade Amazon or something like that, uh, where I think if you were interested in that, you would want to target the wedding niche. Customize wedding dates, pillows, t-shirts, mugs, I mean, plates, uh, cake cutters. You can see how this gets. I'm not worried about sharing too much uh, because it's I'm literally crippled by opportunity and that's why I wanted to present the opportunity to anyone who may be interested so that you could become profitable from that and also track my journey because uh, I have three young kids and if anything were to happen to me uh, I want them to be able to go back to these videos and watch them and learn from me live so selfish and non-selfish at the same time hope you guys enjoyed